Hey guys, get level here. And I recently bought this thing. It's been on display in my local grocery store for months now. And every time I pass by it, I'm like, if only it was the right green. The thing is, the size on this thing is 7 meters long. And it's 1.18 meters wide. So that's a lot of green for the wrong shade of chroma green. The price was 4 euros, which is approximately $5. And I was like, oh, I... I need to try, I need to try. Obviously it is a way brighter, a uh, way lighter shade of green in order to use it as a green screen in case you like, in case I didn't put green screen in the title. <laughs> But I still wanted to try. The advantage that I have here is that I'm using a DSLR for my live streams and for my videos. Also with the lighting that I'm using, maybe I can dial things in order to make this look more green. I don't know. I actually haven't tried it yet. We're going to do that together. So I do own like a bunch of tripods and this whole uh, setup in order to have your backdrop. I don't want to have that in my apartment because we are in my apartment. I know this looks like a beautiful studio and everything, but this is my apartment, okay? I sleep here. I'm actually going to use my boom arm. Hopefully, the hole inside there is, is big enough for my boom arm to go through, and then we'll just have one side hold it like that. I think it will be easier if I just show you. Okay, so that's my boom arm. It's on a, like, it's a tripod with a, well, I, I say boom arm. You can call it a C-stand. It doesn't matter. Basically, this thing rotates, and I can basically turn it like that <laughs> so here's the goal the goal is to have that but on top and just slide the the tablecloth thing over it like that oh that looks wrong and then have it high and then unroll it <laughs> i don't know if that's gonna work i don't even know if that that fits at all as you can see i actually use that for my phone most of the time if i'm filming anything uh sometimes for instagram or, or tiktok i don't know but we can take that off we're not going to be using it also you probably noticed on this video and on the previous video that uh, the camera kind of something changed my setup we have two full uh, curtains those are curtains by the way the, the gray things those are curtains yeah i just moved my camera a little bit i don't know i like it let me know what you think and i'm just using my rgb lighting to just project light onto them colored light okay so if this end is like too big I still have this end. It's only a little bit thinner. I don't necessarily have a use for a green screen, but just the idea of paying four bucks and having seven meters of it is great. That being said, now that I just thought about it, I do have a VR headset now. So if I want to make mixed reality content, mixed reality is basically when you're recording your gameplay in VR, but you're also recording yourself in real life. And with a green screen, you can blend the two of them together. So there's like a separate camera in VR. And I don't know if you're holding swords in VR, you can see yourself in real life holding those swords in the content. Anyways, let's get to it. Okay, bad news is this doesn't seem like it's going to fit at all. Okay, I need to make sure this stuff doesn't unroll completely. <sighs> That's not fitting at all. <sighs> it's so close though. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try to find a broom and see if it fits and I'll I'll try to fit a broom inside this thing. Fun fact, my broom is thicker than my C-stand. <laughs> okay, so I cut about a meter and a half long uh, of it and uh, my goal is to actually double it and now it's gonna fit because it's only like a meter long. The thing when you're buying a real green screen is that it's usually in a material that does not reflect light. The problem when you have material that reflect light, well, you'll get hot spots basically. Basically part, like there are some parts here that are just totally white because it's reflecting the light. You don't want that in a green screen, you want everything to be green, you know? <laughs> so we'll see how that does. First of all, like this is not the right shade. I doubt it's gonna work because I feel like it's so, it's such a light green that it's getting close to my skin tone. So I would be very surprised if we can key that out without artifact. That being said, I might even use my RGB projector to get a more accurate green. We'll see, we'll see. But right now, good news is that this is gonna fit. Something I also need to avoid is light spill. As you can see, the green is being on my skin a little bit, um, but I think it'll be far back enough to not have that effect. We'll see. 
Okay, so I was bragging about the fact that I placed the camera somewhere new. That actually doesn't play to my advantage at all because I have to put it, I have to put this in a weird way. If the camera was still straight in front of me, it would have been way easier because I have the space for it. But now I don't. Anyways, let's, um, uh, let's try it out. <laughs> Stay hydrated. This guy, my bongo cat is so huge. So yeah, so I have that um, little bit of a color correction that adds a little bit more saturation. I could turn it down, but I think it plays to our advantage. Another advantage that I have is that I am currently using very, very soft light. I have one big, bright, soft light, as you can see. That doesn't produce too, too much like harsh shadows, so it's all good, right? I need to get really close in order to get shadows, but from there, boom, shadows disappear. Okay, because I have two sources. Enough talking. Let's uh, let's go ahead and start the, the green skinning process. All right, so I'll go to my camera. I'll go to filters. Okay, number three. Oh wait, what? I don't have a color correction. Oh look, well, I guess I, at least it's the right green now. <laughs> now there's two different colors there's chroma key there's two different filters for for keying there's chroma key and there's color key i believe let's try chroma key at first not bad not not bad well kind of bad but not bad at all <laughs> what am i saying uh let's try to work with that first keying hair is probably the most annoying thing for four euros, I'm actually impressed. And it's like barely standing up. It's it's doubled, so it's not totally transparent, but that's not bad. So this would be, well, cute. Is that color spill or? No, it is taking like the, the green from my, from my orange thing. Oh, there goes my nose. You see that? Oh, my eye. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my. hey guys, Gan Level here, and today I'm gonna show you <laughs> how to use a green screen for cheap. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. So that's why using the right color of green is very important. Right now, it's not, it's not budging. Uh oh, uh oh, oh no, what's going on? So every time I'm doing a video where I'm showing the green screen thing, it's always... <laughs> oh, it is... oh, yeah, I need to stop. Oh, okay. This will give us a better idea of how it's actually king. Oh, okay. <laughs> I keep checking my teeth now. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing if I don't... If I... <laughs> If I don't wear orange for some reason, if I were if I'm wearing black, for example, I think it would be it would be pretty good. And I can play around with the color spill so that it reduces everything surrounding my face. Is that a video that I want to release? <laughs> I would probably create a mask in order to mask out everything else. But let's see how we're doing. We're not bad. Let's see out of focus. Oh, that's good. See, the, se the separation is quite impressive. Let's try putting something underneath it. Don't ask me why would I go with a window capture, with a display capture, but whatever. It's decent. It's decent. It's just the orange. I don't wear orange that often, so that should be good. I'm guessing if I'm wearing a black t-shirt, it's fine. My face is pretty well keyed. My hair is like flickering a little bit, but... I'm actually quite satisfied. <laughs> I, can't this. I can't believe this cheap wrong green. <laughs> that is so dumb. <laughs> but it works. Because I'm trying another video source. Well, it sure doesn't look like I'm there, but let me play around with my, uh, with my settings, with my camera settings. Because right now I have it to be a little like pretty bright. It's pretty bright right now. Okay. So if I have it darker, how does that? Oh, look at that chat. <laughs> of course, this is metal. So it's like reflecting whatever, but not too bad. 
so yeah there's just like a certain brightness that i need to not go over oh the flicker on my hair stopped i mean it's it's gotten better we did it i am quite satisfied with that result i'm not gonna lie <laughs> this is this is not bad of course like i would love for the hair to be keyed but this is like this is for live streaming like streamlabs obs like i use that for my live streams although my orange is not i need to chill with the color spill i think there we go but uh that's not too bad what happens if i play around with my old color correction though oh god oh god oh <laughs> i discovered a whole new world why are those my those are my nails let me stick my tongue out <laughs> i'll play around with the hue shift oh reverse green screen there we go okay this is just plain weird oh but the colors are inverted i just realized that all the contrast is because <laughs> it looks like that if it's not <laughs> inverted also there's a is there a color no there's no color filter i'm not gonna lie i like the inverted i think that's cool <laughs> i really think that's cool <laughs> Yeah, that's the logo from the person who does those stock footage particle things. Oh, <laughs> oh hi there. <laughs> it's me, orange boy, red boy, purple. Okay, cool. Uh, let's turn it off. Not bad. Not bad. I, I did not expect it to work that well. Like I could, ev I could even just crop it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to crop it. But I could just like crop this and have it like... And then I'm ready to stream. I'm a little proud. Oh. 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 <laughs> now we're talking. Am I right, chat? Hey, thank you for watching this for some. I don't know what I'm even gonna. I can't put like how to put up a green screen. That's not a tutorial. That's how not to put up a green screen. Hmm. <laughs> So if you're cheaping out on a green screen, at least, at least make sure that you buy the right shade of green. Look it up. What's the chroma green it's called, right? But if for some reason you have one of those laying around, I'm afraid to touch it. If you have one of those laying around, it's not quite the right color. Or if you have like a, if you have like a blue one, like a blue sheet, which is not the proper chroma blue, because yeah, blue, you can key out blue too. Uh, it's basically colors that are far from the from from skin tone anyways um if you have that too maybe you have some things laying around you never thought about it and you realize watching this video that you could also high five yourself <laughs> so yeah that's it thank you guys for watching leave your comments and uh, i will see you guys next time go out there and make me proud green screen get level out